Dani Khatib, welcome to WPC TV. Uh, you're at a leading think tank in, in the UAE, you're Lebanese. Um, let me ask you about extremism yes. and sectarianism yes. in the Middle East. Yes. Well, extremism that we see today that has, uh, that also Europe and the West has suffered from, the extremism that, uh, that we see today is different than the extremism in the 90s, the extremism of uh, bin Laden. Because the extremism of bin Laden was pan-Islamic, yes. it was anti-imperialist, it was a reaction to uh, the military, American military base. The, the rationale behind it was we should not let infidels who are like non-Muslim to be in the land of the sacred land of exactly. the prophet. But now the extremism we see is driven by sectarianism. Um, and the West think wrongly that the extremism now that is hurting the West is Sunni extremism. But extremism feeds on extremism. So if we look at Iraq, for example, after the early withdrawal of the troops uh, with the Obama administration, Malki, because initially there was the invasion, then you had insurgency, then you had the surge, and it was stabilized. And part of the stabilization is to reinclude the Sunni as in exactly. part of the political process. But the early disengagement from Iraq, Malki was used a very sectarian narrative, and he um, was that his fault, or was it Iran? Him, well, of course, Iran backing him, but this was radicalized the Sunni, and this uh, led to the marriage of convenience between Al Qaeda and the Ba'ath. Yes. So, and this is what it uh, mutated itself. Al Qaeda mutated itself in the monster, which we see it is the proclaimed uh, Islamic State or Daesh. So, if there was not the Shia extremism of Malki, we wouldn't have the Sunni extremism of Daesh, and vice versa. You know, they feed on each other. Let me ask you then the, 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 diff the really difficult question. What's the solution? I mean, in Lebanon, you have, what, 18 different yes. sects that are recognized officially. So in a sense, it's worked. And yet there was a terrible civil war for 15 years. What is, what is the long term? The long term. The short term solution, of course, you need to have a political solution. You need to bring the people together. You need to have military solution, of course, because you have so many non -state. The long term solution is with the civil state. And you can see this in Tunisia. Well, you see, for example, Egypt went back to military rule. You had in Syria chaos, and you had in Libya tribes killing each other. Tunisia was not able to fall into this trap because they have a civil society and because they had the foundation for a civil state. Even the extremists, and the Islam, not the extremists, I don't want to call the Islamist party of Al Ghanoushi and Nahda had to rebrand itself. We say, he said we're a civil. A party with an Islamic background. So the key to it is to have a civil state because when everyone is treated the same and these differences will, it will become part of the background. Let us very much hope so. Daniel Khatib, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.